I don't think we can do it. There's a thunderstorm coming. <gasps> Ryan, I think we should go in. We don't want to be electrocuted by lightning. Where'd you learn that from? <gasps> by the famous scientist Benjamin Franklin. Let's go tell you all about it. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Ryan's world. He was born in Boston on January 17, 1706. Benjamin Franklin had 16 siblings. John, Sam, Peter, Sarah. Oh, James, will you gather the rest of your siblings for me? Yes, I will, Mother. Thomas, Hannah, Mary. Come on, come on, gather round, gather round. Meet your new baby brother. What's his name? Benjamin. His name's Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin begins to love books and reading. He started work at his brother James' printing shop. James wanted him to only sell newspapers, but Ben wanted to write and be published. Uh, brother, I have another article for you to print in your newspaper. Uh -huh. And who is this one from? Uh, me, uh, yeah, me, me friend, uh, Silence Do Good. Ah. Uh, yes, yes, Miss Silence Do Good. Good, good. People are looking forward to this article. Now run along and sell more newspapers. <laughs> ah, my plan is working. My brother doesn't want to print my articles, but he will print them if he thinks they're by Miss Silence Do Good. <laughs> <laughs> what? You've been Miss Silence Do Good this entire time? I am tired of your pranks, Benjamin. Now run along, out of my print shop. Out. He left his brother's print shop and went to Pennsylvania, where he became very successful. He made the first pair of swimming flippers. No, 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 not flippers for your feet, flippers for your hands. <laughs> he started the first library. The Junto Club Lending Library is open for business. Now everyone can enjoy reading. He invented bifocals. Aha! Now I can see far away and up close. On his travels to Europe, he made the first map of the Gulf Stream. If we take the Gulf Stream, this river in the ocean will make our voyage much faster. He took over the Pennsylvania Gazette, and owned his own newspaper. Extra, extra, read all about it. Get your Pennsylvania Gazette here. Oh, and don't forget your copy of Paul Richard's Almanac, most popular publication in the colonies. Ha <laughs> ha. He even started the first volunteer fire company organization. Oh, the lightning just hit another house. It caused a fire. We need men on this right away. We're on, Mr. Franklin. There they go. The Union Fire Company. I'm so proud of them. Oh. Oh, uh, hey men. I'm working on something to take care of those fires. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin started to study lightning, and he printed lightning experiments in his newspaper. Editor? Yes, Mr. Franklin? I need you to write down an experiment I've been pondering. I'm on it, Mr. Franklin. Ready. If one were to fly a kite with a metal key attached in a thunderstorm, lightning would strike the kite and produce an electric spark. Thus, lightning produces electricity. No, no, no. Lightning is electricity. Too many buildings were catching on fire because of lightning. So Benjamin Franklin invented a way to fix this. There we go. Now I've stuck this long piece of metal to the side of the house. Now it must be long enough to where I can reach into the air, but long enough so that it may stick into the ground. Now with it in the ground, whenever lightning strikes the top, zoom! The electrical current will go straight into the ground. Thus. No more house fires. I shall call this invention the Franklin Rod. It is now called the Lightning Rod. Oh, very well then. The Lightning Rod. Benjamin Franklin was a great inventor and a good person. 
He used his writing to set such a good example for others. He was asked to help unite the colonies into one country. In order to be a good person, one must be sincere and honest, know what is right and wrong, and be humble in Mr. all Mr. Franklin! That... I'm looking for a Mr. Benjamin Franklin. Yes, I'm Benjamin Franklin. We read your writings and we agree with your beliefs. The Continental Congress would like to make you an official Pennsylvania delegate. If you accept, I would like your help with something. Uh, well, of course I accept. Uh, what is it that you need help with? It's a document called the Declaration of Independence. Hmm. Catchy name. I'll check it out. Oh, and what did you say your name was again? Thomas Jefferson. Wait, Th Thomas Jefferson. As in the Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Ben Franklin signed the Declaration of Independence, which made the colonies a new united country. Ha! Ah, I hereby instate this Declaration of Independence. We will be our own country soon. Would anyone like to sign? I would. Not only did Ben Franklin sign the Declaration of Independence, he also helped with the Constitution of the United States of America. I, James Madison, have completed the draft of the Constitution. Oh, may I see it? Yes, yes, of course. Oh. I think that this is as close to perfect as we're going to get. Yes, yes it is. This shall be the Constitution to the new United States. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo indeed. Indeed. <laughs> yes. I think we're going to celebrate now. But why don't you all test your knowledge with a pop quiz? Question number one. Which newspaper did Benjamin Franklin own? Is it A, the Pennsylvania Gazette? Or is it B, Nickelodeon Times? Or is it C, the Daily Bugle? <gasps> did you get the answer right? It is A, the Pennsylvania Gazette. Question number two. Which invention stopped lightning from hitting houses and creating fires? Is it A, video games? Or is it B, slime? Whoa! Or is it C, the lightning rod? Did you get the answer? It is C. The invention that stopped lightning from hitting houses and creating fire is the lightning rod. Question number three. Select two of the documents that Benjamin Franklin signed. Did he sign A, the Declaration of Independence? Did he sign B, the Constitution? Or did he sign C, the Krabby Patty Secrets. Did you get the answer? The answer is actually A and B. Benjamin Franklin signed the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Okay guys, I think the storm is over now. We can go fly kites. Good idea, Ryan, let's go.